This photograph was taken on August 4, 1948 and published in a Chicago newspaper. Facing eviction from their apartment and with nowhere else to go, an employed coal truck driver Mr. and Mrs. Shalafu decide to sell there for children. Pregnant mother Lucille Shalafu hides her face from the photographer while the children pose, appearing somewhat confused. At the top step are Lana 6 and Rianne 5, and below them are Milton 4 and Sue Ellen 2. Family members accuse the mother of taking money to stage the photo, but unfortunately, the mother was deadly serious about selling her children. Within two years, five children, including the unborn baby, were sold to different homes. Rianne and her brother Milton were sold to the Zoltman family on August 27, 1950, for $2. Their names were changed to Beverly and Kenneth, under the guise of foster parents. They were often chained in a barn as farm workers and forced to work long hours in the fields. Milton remembers being called a slave by his new father figure. He accepted this label at the time because he didn't understand what it meant. Their unborn sibling David, who was not yet born when the photo was taken, was legally adopted at the age of two by Harry and Luella McDaniel, who lived just a few miles away. David, who describes his adoptive parents as strict but loving and supportive, remembers riding his bike to visit Ray and Milton and releasing their chains before returning home. Shortly after experiencing severe traumatic events, Rianne left home at the age of 17. As a young girl, she was abducted and raped, resulting in her becoming pregnant. She was sent to a nursing home for pregnant girls, and when she returned, her baby was adopted. As Milton grew older, he reacted with anger to beatings, hunger, and other abuses. A judge deemed him a threat to society, and after spending time in a reform school, he spent several years in a mental hospital, Milton, David, and Rianne later searched for their siblings, Lanay and Sue Ellen. They didn't know what had happened to Lanay and Sue Ellen. But years later, they were able to reconnect with them through social media. Lana had died of cancer in 1998, but Sue Ellen Shalafu was still alive. Sue Ellen grew up in the East Side neighborhood of Chicago, not far from their original home. Her thoughts on her biological mother were, she should burn in hell. After selling and giving away her five children depicted in the photograph, the woman remarried and had four more daughters. When her other children eventually came to see her, she expressed no love for the children she had not seen but regret for leaving them. David defended his mother's coldness as evidence of a different, harsh world. He said, When my mother saw me, she said, You look just like your father. She never apologized. Survival was the issue at that time. Who are we to judge? We are all human. We all make mistakes. She might have been thinking about her children. She didn't want her children to die. Milton had a different perspective on the matter. My birth mother never loved me. She never apologized for selling me. She hated me so much that it didn't matter to her.